Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio here today with another book flip. I have been working on another book, not as large as the last, the last book, the large uh, red flower one, but it has some of the same characteristics as that one. And here is the latest one. It's Orange Cosmos. I drew these and the black and white one for you to print on any kind of paper you want is in my Etsy store. So all I did was I printed it on the uh, tea dyed paper and then I went over it with a, what did I use? I did watercolor. And then in the places like the creases here in the flowers, a lot of them, well, oh, did I miss that? No, I have that. I went through it with um, a, what is this? This is not a Signo pen. I don't know what brand name this is because there's nothing on it, but I took this, oops, and I went into these darker places, and this is kind of a, I don't know, oops, it's coming up. It's got a little bit of a shine to it, which I don't really care for, but it was the right color to add accent to it. Let me glue this down because if I don't, I will absolutely forget to do it later. The spine is three and a quarter inches wide. Uh, I don't know how tall it is. Uh, let's see, it is five and a half inches tall. So it's five and a half by three and a quarter. I did not mean, well, when I did three and a quarter, I didn't realize how fat three and a quarter was until I put my book together. I didn't want my book to have alligator mouth, but guess what? <laughs> it did. It does. So there are five signatures, and as you can see, the signatures have already gotten dirty. Um, the signatures are spaced out you know, rather wide. And if I really wanted to add more stuff to this, there's enough in between these signatures that I could get four more signatures in here. I'm not doing that, but I'm just saying that there's room. All right, so um, this is a three-piece book, like, you know, like the black idea book, or the red idea book, and the brown idea book. They are all the three-piece, and this is too because this you know, can go back and forth. All right, so the inside is the same as the outside, except for the paper I, I covered it up with might be the coffee or tea dyed paper, might be a little darker, but it's exact, done exactly the same way. I did watercolor and then I took that pen after it dried and filled in spaces. Okay, so it's really hard to lay this thing flat because <laughs> it's so tall. All right, so this is, I think this is deli paper that I um, dyed a couple weeks ago. This you might have seen had you uh, if you watched the video about what I do with my stencils from What If NC, and this is the one where I did the trees and I did grass. I just cut it apart to use this for the sky. I zigzagged it on there. Well, actually, it was zigzagged before I uh, before I glued it. Cause see, there's no sewing on the back. Right, all these pages are sewn either zigzag, straight stitch, sawtooth. I mean, they all have different things on them. This again is a stencil from What If NC done with watercolor and stamps. This is a leftover picture from the red book that I did the three signatures on, three section series. That's a leftover from that. I tried to use leftovers in here as much as possible. This is a tag that I made a while ago. It never had a home, and now it has one. I'm so excited that it has a tag. This is one of those bulb safety pins. You know, it's big and bulby. It looks like a light bulb. I'm not sure I like this pin in this thing like this because it, it seems a little, it sticks up and it's a little weird. I might end up changing it to a coil of safety pin. All right, so this is my stencil, the leaf stencil that I have through What If NC that I made. I just put green um, ink on it and outlined it and poked holes in it. This is just scraps that I sewed together and glued in here. Again, this was scraps from something and I just glued it onto a piece of 
kind of tealy blue um, cardstock that was left over and inked around the edges with the walnut stain from uh, Tim Holtz. This is a, um, a tag that I made and I decided not to have it stick out the book so I just flat out glued it in there. This tape is washy and this is another one of those what if NCs, the strips left over from another project so I did the ink on it and then I sewed around it and glued it on here. You're going to see a lot of that in here. All right, so this... Oh, I know why it's in here. My uh, my paper ripped, so I had to use the washi tape to make sure that I could keep it together. That's why the washi's in there. This is also something... Uh, now, this is not a leftover. The stuff I used is, but I dried some flowers from the summer, and I went and opened the book up, and they're nice and dried, so I put the um, vellum over it, and it really does obscure it. So I, I probably should have used something else to cover it up like acetate because you really can't see the flower very well. So I sewed around it, then put green cardstock behind it and used leftover green scrapbook paper. This was made in advance of for using in, in projects and I hadn't used it yet. I wanted green and it fit, so I glued it on there. This is leftovers, this is leftovers. Actually, this stuff is made from leftovers too. This is um, just a flap, and I made a bunch of these with uh, What If NC ATC stencil, sewed it on to, or just sewed it, and then I glued it on to two pieces of scrap green card stock that I had that I wanted to use up. I didn't have one, like I didn't have a whole sheet of one. I had two halves. Eh, who cares? This is just a tag that I made, or a journaling card, a skinny one and it just gets tucked in here and I put it in here kind of at the top so it would stick up. These are What If NC Nordic Cross, I think is what, it, no, not Celtic Cross, sorry. Celtic Knot Cross or something like that. God, you think I'd know these names. Um, <laughs> I found some cacti on um, Flickr and I printed them off, cut them up, glued some onto leftover little pieces of brown cardstock, inked around the edges. Glued some on here, sewed around the leftover paper, and then glued it in the book. I didn't sew it onto the page. There's another cactus. And this is, a, I had one little leftover cactus, so I cut around it, fussy cut around it, and glued it just on directly on the page. This is um, a pocket, and then there's um, leftover bits of different sizes of coffee and tea dyed paper in here for a little um, notebook. Then I used lace that was gifted to me by um, ba -ba 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 Peg Robinson. This is, I think this is my paper, but I can't remember. This is another stencil. This is the Four Leaf Clover or Shamrock, whatever it's called, um, from What If NC. This is another one of those stencils where I just made a pocket, sewed around it, and glued it on the paper. Here's another cactus, just made with leftover cardstock. Put tabs on the book. Now this is new. This is something I have never done before. Is I watched a video by G Kerr, and I will link it down below, where she shows you how to do dangles on your tabs. Now this is not the way hers was, but it's basically the same idea. I'll show you my version, which is this, and then I'll show you her version. This has a um, eyelet. No. Is that what they're called? I can't remember. Anyway, I had to pound that in there. And then I took two beads I had in my stash and put them together with the wire. And it's a side, side dangle. These are more leftover pieces of paper. This I did a while ago and set it aside in case I needed it sometime. And there we go. This is just a flap that's, re whoops, that's reinforced. Here's just a journaling tag with a green sheet that I dyed. I mean, a sheet that I dyed green. There's the deli paper. And I poked a hole in it, so I patched it. Can you see the patch? Right there. No biggie. 
Each one of these signatures has what I call a wrap around. It's just a smaller piece of paper that denotes I'm moving from one signature to the next. This is just all made out of scraps that are sewn and glued. And this is a flower that my friend Cindy Utter makes for me out of dictionary pages. She draws them, colors them in, fussy cuts them, and mails them to me. I love them. And you're going to see a lot of these in here. There's another one of one of his um, stencils. This is using two stencils. This is vellum where I used yet another um, ATC. This is the brick stencil with a, what did I use for this? It's some kind of a, mar uh, oh, it was a, a Sharpie marker. And then I outlined it with a turquoise colored, one of these kind of pens. And it's an envelope. And then inside there is a stamp that was gifted to me by Peg Robinson. And I just backed, I stamped it, colored it, and then just put leftover cardstock. And you can see right through it. This is a flower that I did on um, jelly printed photo paper. And I doodled on it, cut it out, and just, I wanted to use it for a flat because vellum just, you know, it's not very heavy. And I wanted to kind of weight it down without putting a magnet or... Um, Velcro on it, so I thought that would weight it down because it kept snagging on this page. There's more lace with more jelly prints. There was strips. This is another ATC from What If NC. So is this, and I just made a flap out of it. So um, leftover um, copy paper. So that this is just a journal card that I made a while ago when I was making those other books. Just so happened it was the right color, and now it's tucked. This is a pocket where I stored leftovers from this project, thinking I might glue them in there. And I thought, well, this would be a good way for me to keep track of the leftovers that I, I think I might want to put in here. So I put them in this pocket so that if I see I need to glue something on the side somewhere, I just go back and use these. This is a round tag that I think my friend Cindy Utter gifted to me. And I had um, printed with the round jelly plate, a bunch of prints, so I just cut it out, cut it out, and then I glued it on top of this tag, and then took another little tag, and I'm using one of those, um, I'm using a safety pin that was gifted to me also. My goodness, I'm gifted a lot of stuff. This is just one of my, um, I think this, what am I calling this one? I don't know if I call this the daisy print. I did this on um, vellum, painted it, or did it with and probably, um, I think this might be Sharpie marker. And then it has sukwang on the back of it, so if I want to stick it on anything, all I have to do is peel it off. It's ready to go. Like I said, this is my spare part area. Um, this is some kind of music paper that I, or leftover cardstock that I ran through the um, cuddle bug that were musical notes. This is a flower I made from a die that I have. Um, this is another tuck spot for a leftover thing for the one of the other books, the red the red book that I made. Another one of those uh, jelly print flowers. Then these are prints that I used um, sharpie marker on the back side of the vellum, and I just I used sukwang tape on it so because glue shows through. And this little bitty one is also, it's just a tiny flower that I cut out and just added it there because why not? Here's another one of those tabs. This is my version of the dangle tab. Just two stars I had left. All right, so this page has the strip of um, stenciled and watercolored What If NC Spiral ATC. This page right here is tissue, or, yeah, I think this is tissue paper, and it was gifted to me by um, Peg Robinson. She made these, and I just love these watercolor butterflies, and then there's some words stamped on it. I just thought it needed to be there because there was blue here, kind of blue here, and then this page is all about the blue. This right here is a strip of vellum I had left over from something else. I just did the embossing on it with a uh, stylist, one of these on the mat so I had a cushion to do it on and then 
I colored it in with um, Sharpie markers. Then I went back to the front side and just outlined the little squares or the little rectangles and squares with a black jelly roll pen. This is another flower that my friend Cindy made. And again, this is what if NC strips that I just did the stenciling on. Here's another one of um, the beaded tag ideas, dangles. There's Cindy's flowers. I'm not sure who did this, but I don't think this is my paper. I have lace like that, but I don't think I did this one. I had this in my stash, and it was like just the right size, so I glued it in there just because I could. This is one of my jelly prints. I sewed all over the front of it. This is something from Cindy Utter that she made me. This is a book made out of prints that I got off of Flickr. And then I just put in le leftover paper. See, there's those recipes from my old clients when I was a personal chef. And I just, it's a little notebook. And I just took leftover paper and put it in there because I thought this kind of looks sad with just the brown background on it. So to accentuate it just a little bit, I put the blue behind it. Again, this is just more paper that was jelly printed and it was a strip that was left over. A lot of these things on the sides were strips that were left over that I just sewed on or set aside. Here's another flower from Cindy Utter. These two prints are from Flickr. Leftovers, leftovers. Here's another dangle, which is the blue glass beads. And these beads are probably 10 or 12 years old. Uh, they came from Fire Mountain. This is just a leftover strip with the What If NC paper, I mean stencil on it. This is another one of those little stencil, uh, vellum flowers I just cut off and used a souk wang tape and slapped it on there. This is a little booklet where I use leftover prints from the last project I did. And I fussy cut these out of a sheet that looks like this and I glued one on it, on the first few pages in here so that it would look kind of cute. I don't think I did it on every page, did I? No. I only did it for as many as I had on hand. I don't think there's one. Oh, yep, there's another one. And when I went through all of these, I stopped because I see there's two pages in here <laughs> that don't have it. And then I used, oh, this tape right here is washi tape that came from Zurich, Switzerland. I won a contest with three dotted penguins where I guessed how many rubber, uh, rubber, how many stamps she carved of fish. And the guess was 105. And this was the washi tape she used to wrap up my stuff in tissue paper. I had to use it in my stuff. I could not stand to waste that beautiful washi. Just blue striped and I thought, oh, perfect place. So I saved for posterity's sake. This is just a jelly print that I did with a stamp I carved, and it's extra paper, so it just goes in here. It doesn't match, but, you know, it's kind of a shade of tealy blue, and it just goes in there. Here's the back of the wraparound. There's the back of the wraparound with another disc, and then I, I glued it halfway, and then I could stick this in there. This is another drawing on um, Dictionary from Cindy Utter. Here's the next one. This is a dried flower from my backyard that I put the vellum over and then sewed around it. This is a What If NC stencil. And the background's the spiral stencil. I had such a good time using those things. I can't stop. This was a tag that I made a while ago when I was working on, I think it was the black idea book or the brown idea book. One of those two that I thought I might use this and I didn't, so in it goes. This is another What If NC stencil where I just stenciled it, sewed around the pocket, glued it on. This was just a scrap out of the bin. Uh, I separate my, my colors in my envelope, scrap envelopes according to color, and this was in the purple envelope. And it's just a scrap of paper, and I just glued it on the bottom. Just like these two here, they were scraps, they were purple, they fit. This is new. I did um, use this. This was coffee dyed paper, and I ended up dying or no this is purple dyed paper and then I stenciled the uh, spirals on the background to give it a little more interest these were leaves that were left over from the brown idea book this was a cluster that I made to use in the brown idea book and I didn't use it so in it went this is um, 
These are the stamp pockets that Cory Don uh, Don Dunham. Oh my gosh, what's her last name? I think that's it. Anyway, um, Cory is spelled C O R I. If anybody looks for her stuff, and uh, Dahman, that's it, Cory Dahman. So I did a whole sheet of these little bitty um, vellum paper flowers. Took the tape taped it on some scrap paper I had that was dyed, pink scrap dyed paper. And there's that one. And all of these are done the same way. These are the stamp pockets with the vellum in the front. And you just sew around it and kind of sew in the middle. And you can put anything in these little pockets. Here's another little book that I made to go into the, um, oh, let's see if I can get it off, into the um, Brown Idea book. And I ended up, yeah, it's stuck. Well, there it is. Come on. Now I tore it. There we go. It's just a long piece of paper. That's all it is with a little belly band on it. I don't know if I'll be able to get that back on while we're sitting here. Let's see if I can get it in there. Come on. You know you want to go back. You know it. There we go. And I just stick it right in here. Um, here is a copper dangle that I made when I was trying to learn how to bend metal. I really liked it, so I stuck it in here. This, again, was a note card that I made when I made those other books. These are all leftover strips. This is a sticker that was gifted to me by Cindy Utter. The inside is just paper, lined notebook paper. And then I cut this out of a leftover piece of paper just to put it in there because it was purple. Background papers, leftover jelly print. This is this purple paper was left over from a jelly printing session that I had when I took the Art Joyous Sharing class for jelly printing. This was one of my jelly prints, and I um, made it into a pocket. These again, these things right here are things that were left over from when I put this together. I thought maybe I might use them in the book later, so I want to make sure they're all kind of in one place where I can find them. This again is a journal card. Scrap, scrap, scraps. I made this just for this book so it could go with this. Um, this is <laughs> vellum that's just had this color of a Sharpie just done on the back of it. Then I took one of the uh, stencils. I had a stencil. Now, this is not a What If NC stencil. This is some random stencil that looked like, the you know, the metal grating that you see in a lot of things. That's what this reminds me of. And um, I just took the stylist and did it on the vellum and it made those white marks like that. But I like the way it looked. I didn't sew around it. Vellum is kind of um, finicky when you sew on it. Took um, washi tape, had a sheet of this where they were different colored flowers and I thought, I am not wasting all that time I spent coloring in those flowers. So I cut it so I could make it into a little pocket. Um, into an envelope, and guess what's in there? Ah! Leftover! <laughs> then again, another little bead. This is a Cindy Utterflower, and I can't remember whose print this is. I don't know if it belongs to Peg Robinson, or Cindy Utter, or somebody else, but it was somebody's artwork, and they photocopied it, and I ended up with a piece of it, so I cut it down smaller so it would fit on this page. Well, I didn't have a big piece left, and so I cut it. It would go here. This is a random jelly print I think I might use in the future. Just tucked it in here. These are those flowers from a die cut I have on the rest of the paper right here. Took that paper and glued it on a page there. Another one of the beads, glass beads, I got from Fire Mountain. This pocket is made up of the same paper as this and that other page. This has, um, this is a rubber stamp that I stamped with, I think it's called Elderberry Memento. And it almost looks black and white, but it's like kind of a plum colored. Put that in here. This was a random great print out of a magazine and I cut it in a strip it was left over and I thought I can't get rid of that because that goes with this so well. This is another one of those round um, discs where I glued the paper on top of it. It's got another bulb pin 
and um, a tag that I made for the future, and sure enough, I needed it. And then there's a pocket here. In the back, there's a pocket here. Let me show you. There's this one here. And then this could be sl sl slide into this other pocket right in front of it. And then I just put this in the back one because it's the only one tall enough to put it in there. This is not a pocket. This stuff is all glued flat. It's leftover stuff. I stenciled. No, I didn't stencil. I stamped those letters on there so I could use it. This butterfly was left over from another project. Like I said, this whole book is nothing but leftovers from other projects. There's more of that paper that I stamped. Here's another leftover uh, vintage photo from Flickr. Again, I didn't want to throw this paper away, so I glued the pocket. This is a vellum print sewn onto a piece of paper and then glued on top of here. This is one of those double-sided paper clips. So I put it on the purpley side. And I, I didn't like that this was down here and the only thing you saw behind here was a tea paper. So when I cut this off so it would fit here, I had a strip left. So I just glued that on the page and this is glued on there. Just because I didn't want the background not to have anything. Again, leftovers. There's another leftover with vellum. This is a flower I made. The little belly band across a card. Alright, here's the wraparound for this one. These are stencils from What If NC. There's the sunflower and the spirals. You can see I really like them. Here's another sunflower stencil. Leftover paper. This was a photocopy of somebody else's art paper that I got sent and I just liked it. And I had just enough left over to do on the bottom. I sewed around the flower, glued that on top of another piece of paper, and made a pocket. This is another one of those little um, ob um, rectangular shaped fold-out notebooks. This is some of the paper that I did with the What If NC where I did the, the jelly print in red, and then I went back over with um, yellow paint on it. I love this print. This is just leftover flower. All of this stuff is leftovers. These are little flowers that I was playing with with vellum. Cut them, fussy cut them out, put tape on the back of them, and glued them on here. These were things I did not use in the other books that I made. Same here. Now, this I made because I had that leftover red paper and I could not stand wasting it. So these are all strips of leftover coffee dyed, tea dyed paper. So you can tell it's a leftover. There's part of a recipe. This didn't get used in another book. So in it went. This is leftover vellum sewed onto a white piece of paper so you could see the vellum flowers. This I still need to work on down here. I don't really like, but there's the photo right there. So I'm going to need to do something for the bottom here. I may stencil something. And this is just flowers that I liked. And I just glued them on there. No rhyme or reason. Another one of my um, photo jelly printed papers where I doodled on top of it. This is leftover paper from something else that I just made an envelope and glued it onto the back of yet another envelope of leftover paper. Lace that was gifted to me and it holds little more bits that I might use in the future. This is a vellum flower I cut out glued on. This is washi in here as an extra. ATC brick. What if NC? There's, I just happened, I wanted something red, so I went through my um, images and I found a red door and glued it on there. Again, with the beads that are left over from Fire Mountain. All of this stuff is left over from other projects. This has got a whole bunch of leftovers in it. Made this as a belly band, or, uh, as a pocket. This is the belly band. This was in preparation to make something that was purple. This is one of those matchbook notebooks. It's all done in purple. That goes in there. Then I had a pocket left over with vellum. I did sew it. 
I don't like sewing vellum. It's not as friendly as sewing paper. But, you know, I was playing around and I didn't want anything to happen to it, so I put it in there. These are just things that were leftovers, and I'm just putting in there because they're pink. That's the only reason they're in there. Leftover from something else. This is paper that I... Now, I did have this printed off, but it wasn't colored. This is watercolor. And then it was washi taped in, and I made an envelope. And it has an, another, pink, another pink picture in it that I liked. And I just put it in here. Here is another tag that I made. And I wanted to use up that red jelly print with the yellow sunflowers. And I used this paper that was left over from that. This is the copy dyed sheet that I did. See, I, this, this, somebody asked me what I do with my leftovers. This is what I do with my leftovers. This is a leftover, leftover. These were made, I don't know, earlier this year, last year. This is a Cindy Utter flower. I just um, ripped the paper instead of having straight edges, then put the ink around the edges. Leftover, I sewed and just glued it on there. It should sit this way, but I needed something up and down, so I did it that way. Oh, these are in a tuck spot. They come in and out. Another pocket with a leftover photo or a leftover picture I printed off a of Flickr. Couldn't waste it. Vellum pocket was experimenting with doing vellum and painting on them. Same with this. This is this is my design for this. Um, this is the Serenity leaves or something leaves. That's mine. This one is What If NC's Lotus Flower. Again, a scrap piece of paper. I needed red or pink. There was some in there. Ta-da! This I made a while ago to you in preparation for the future. There's that back. This is deli paper. I stamped this last year sometime. These are vellum flowers that I did on a sheet and just fussy cut them out and then got the... Uh, tape and taped them on here. I have to glue them down a little bit. I think it's for me opening and shutting it and working on it. The tape is just kind of worn off. I'll need to stick a little white glue under there. This is a paper clip that I learned how to make from Corey Dahman. And again, it's just bits and pieces of little tiny things that were left over that I couldn't bear to part with, but I needed to put them someplace. And I thought, well, they're all yellow. Then I put a little um, dangle on here. It's one of those side paper clips. You could do it upside this way. But I decided since all the other dangles were going that way, I would just do it like this. And then this side, again with the sunflower. I'm obsessed with this sunflower stencil. What can I say? This is a little pad of leftover paper from another project. Again, one of those long ones. And it just folds up as, and this is supposed to be a tab where you pull it out of a pocket and push it way down in there and just pull the little tab out. Another journal card with the tab on the top. And leftover paper that I had colored and hadn't used yet, so I made it into an envelope. This I learned to do from um, G. Kerr. It's one of her closures. And in the envelope, is there anything in here? Oh, oh no, it's empty. All right, and I put this on there to give this a little more weight. You just scooch that back and it stays close. Butterfly from Flickr. This is just held on with a paper clip, another little envelope. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope, empty. And then it's just um, a little teeny stamp that has a paper clip on it. This is one of those little Tim Holt paper clips. And then I just slipped it over the edge. There's another dangle. Now this dangle is a G. Kerr dangle. I'll show you another one. It's, it'll be a better one to see. This is a bumblebee. Here's another one of those paper clips that I learned how to do from Corey Dahman. This has a little teeny um, tracing paper envelope. I hate throwing this stuff, these little bits away. Can you tell? 
This was vellum I sewed onto white leftover paper. And they are all put into like the, I have a basket that has all these little projects labeled. And then anytime I need something a certain color or a certain style, I rifle through the basket and ta-da, this is what I found. This is just leftover uh, jelly print paper with another one of the sunflowers. This was a yellow tag I found in the drawer. I haven't decided what to do with it yet, but I'm sticking it in there to remind myself I need to use it. This was an envelope that was gifted to me by Cindy Utter. I cut the top off. And then I have another one of these sunflowers that's done on vellum. And then just sewn. So you can tell it's left over paper. There's the pencil marks. Uh. And just goes in the pocket. Again, with the G-Cur opening. Another little pocket made out of leftover papers. This is empty. Just swing it back over and you don't have to use Velcro. You don't have to use a magnet. This works great. This is just a little, little pocket where I slipped in another one of the um, little flowers that I dried out this summer and sewed vellum over it, which I think probably was a mistake. But I learned from my mistake. A Cindy Utter flower. All right, so this is the kind of tab that G. Kerr did. This little piece of paper is one and a half inches long and three quarters of an inch wide. You need to go to her video, but hers is different than, the way she made her tabs is different than the way I did these where I just did a tab and then stuck the eyelet in here and then put the ring in the eyelet. There's no eyelet on this one. The bead is in wire and there's a hole poked in the um, tab here. And one side of it's glued on one side, which I covered up. The other side's glued here, and then, um, or the both on, wait, are they both on one side, or is it straddle it? I can't remember. No, it's straddled. And then um, the bead has the, um, eye p either an eye pin or a um, wire. Then you loop your uh, jump ring in there, and there these are beads, random beads I had left over from Stone Mountain. I mean Fire Mountain, sorry. Stone Mountain, Fire Mountain. But if you're not careful and you pull on this too much, which has already happened to me, um, the wire will come out from underneath the paper, so I use E6000 to glue that back down in there so it would really hold. They're just so cute. Again, this is just leftover coffee dyed paper. I did a stencil, beehive stencil I had on it, and then I stamped bees on it. These are leftover images from uh, the other book, the red book, where I did the three signatures. Leftover paper, just glued them in there. This is going to have a picture of a bee on here as soon as I get it printed off. This is a die cut that was gifted to me, and there was like five or six sizes that were graduated sizes from um, Peg Robinson, so I cut them out. There are a lot of weeding where you have to poke all the stuff through. This is on vellum, and it's a... Uh, the same beehive stuff, except for I did it with the, um, this, the stylus tool on the back side with yellow watercolor and then scored all the lines. And it's hard to see because it's glued onto green, but in person you can see all the little honeycombs. And then I covered some, colored some of them in and made them solid white so they would stick out. But now I'm going to cover it up with a picture of a giant bee. Another one of G. Kerr's little tab dangles. This is leftover from the front cover. This was leftover stuff in preparation for something and I ended up not using it. This is um, the bridge stencil from What If NC. Took some leftover paper, put it on there, and then washi taped it on top of more leftover paper. There's another sunflower and yet guess what? Another sunflower! Pocket. And look, yellow Cosmos done on photo paper. And so let me, let me say this. This feels very textured because photo paper that's got, um, this is a shiny side of photo paper done with a yellow. I printed the Cosmos from the computer and then colored it in with a yellow Sharpie. The only problem is, is this is laid on my desk upside down, right side up on this nasty mat. And it picked up all kinds of, bits of glue and tape and stuff. So 
it's got all kinds of bumps on it. I will never make that mistake again. This is just a tag card that I made for future use and found it right here. And then it can stick up, if I pull it out, it could stick up at the top. This is the back of this. And then I took the inside of the other one that's on the other page, the green one, and I just glued it on top of the pa this paper here so that you could see the flower. It turned out perfect that it went right over it. That is what I do with my leftovers book. And you can see all the little danglies. It's too bad you can't see them dangling down. Anyway, so there they are. So in between the signatures, I have enough room, as I said in the, in the opening, I could pet, put another signature in here if I was really desperate to fill this book up, which I am not. So we are done. Ta-da! All right, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.